Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully show how to display some of the page designation. That is our default page designation is successfully working. Our functionality is working, but that is our default one is not supported for our this theme, right? Here I have already added the three posts and after the three posts, our page designation will be executed. So I want to do, I want to use some of the custom page designation design. If you go to our theme, into the theme that have some of the custom design right so now i want to do I want to apply this design so if you want to apply it that is our blog.html before that is actually in here i remove it now i want to do I want to use it so if you want to go to our um, page right now that is a blog.html i want to first of all take it open it and now i want to take our page ignite mm, you can see that is actually our page ignition dev i simply select this dev and now i want to do I want to apply it in our here that is a blog and you can see there is a designation so right now here i don't need this there is a dev is started dev is ended i simply paste it now our designation should be display uh, if you now click as a save all now our css will be updated actually right now if you refresh it you can see that is our static or all that designation is display so now here we don't need this i want to do uh, that is one of the dot here. We don't need this. I simply remove it. Okay, perfect So here I remove it better. I take the things little bit left position So I take it little bit left position great now um, If you click the save also right now that is our one that is a two and that is a three and then that is our next page And that will be our previous page. So that is a three simple things. We have to add one of the active class perfect now and to click the save all now that should be great now click the refresh yeah you can see now that is our custom css is updated now i want to do i want to make it as a dynamic you can see it's not working so here we have to make it as a dynamic so if you want to make it as a dynamic then we have to do if you go to laravel official website right now we are using laravel latest version as a nine and if you search with the designation okay here if you search by the page designation, then you can see there is a database page designation. Simply select it in here. Okay, when you select it, then that will be redirected to some of the page, like that is one of the page. And here, if you go to the page designation page, here first of all, you have to do have to publish it. Like they have some of the common line. First of all, you have to run it. If you go, there is a page designation. There is a page designation tag we have to run mm, here. You can see there is a PHP artisan vendor publish and tag Laravel designation. First of all, we have to do we have to install it. When you install it, automatically that will be created on one of the folder as a vendor. I show you in our project area into the view into the view area that will be created on another folder as a vendor. So if you want to do that work right now, our PHP artisan service running. I go to our project and here I want to run with the CMD another cmd and i want to do and to paste it now click as a enter now that will be published in particular our folder area you can see now there is a publishing completed and complete directory in our vendor laravel automatically that will be redacted and in our resources view and that is a vendor one of the folder okay in vendor and then page ignition it's automatically successfully created now if you go to our page uh, in our resources into the resources that is our view and you can see that is our vendor and that is the page designation so they have some of the by default page designation as a default page so that is one of the default page so from here i will actually copy everything and now first of all i want to do to create another custom page designations for the reasons in our page designation i want to create on the new file and here i simply create as a save as i name it as a custom okay custom and blade.php okay i simply created as a custom blade.php here for now we have to do we have to update one by one okay so right now we don't need this if you go to our default page that that is a block page and that is our page ignition so from to the page designation they have one of the ul and that is one of the name okay so now here i have already added down that is all that static data now i want to make it as a dynamic i simply cut it from to this position Okay, I simply cut it from to this position and now in our custom into this custom area here I simply paste it. Okay, I simply paste it First of all, we have to do we have to link it right we have to link it that will be just like our before in our Default one I have already discussed about that things with you from our block controller I get all the data by the variable as all block I pass it with the compact method in our block page now that should be with our all blocks 
so now i want to do with our all blocks i want to access our pagignate before i use that as a links right now we have to do we have to use that as a links our links will be in our which position we have to allocate it that position right now that is in our vendor folder the pagination folder and that is our custom right now i want to down to add it that will be as a vendor that, that is a vendor folder and then the pagination okay and then there is a custom so now i want to do i want to use it so that is our custom cus cus to um, custom there is a custom file that is in our vendor pagination and then custom perfect now our link should be executed right before i use only that link and now into the link area i pass which file is will be work for a specific this designation here i simply load it and that is our custom plate now i want to do want to copy everything from our designation and that is a default designation okay from to the default designation i want to copy everything like that is our php started i copy it and then after that i first of all i want to do i want to add that our php php will be and that means if condition will be and there is a if condition is started and i want to do and to end this if condition okay so i simply end it so now if you want to check it is appropriately perfect position or not i want to do and to take that nav and into this area i want to simply paste it so right now in our blog i have already added that our dev and from to the here i take that means i simply cut it on navigation right so now it that should be display in here because i have already updated that vendor designation custom now let's check this out click as a save all and now if you go our blog page now click as a refresh now that should be the same yes you can see our that is perfectly display like right now there is a three button actually which will be work one will be as a previous that will be the next and that will be the active class and that will be our next page right so now let's do that work i want to do and to update it from our default one so from to the default that is our next page after that name that is a ul and that is the our another one right so that is our li i simply copy that if condition so if you understand that part you can actually manage every designation that is every custom designation as per your demand so right now i want to, to copy it and now in our custom here that is our neighbor that is our ul after that ul i want to do i want to paste it okay here i simply paste it so first of all you know that is our custom one right so that is our custom one and that is our um, default one so now i want to do i want to only update it that class that's all will you have to do like that is for our next button you can see there is our left array that is our right array and that is our active array so now that is that all will be needed first of all i want to update that ali so this ali will be this one that is our on fast page right so in here that is one of the class as a disable now i want to do and to also add another class because that will be our this ali okay for the reason here i want to do and to apply our class name as a page item so first of all i want to apply the page item class and that will be our disable which will be default one which is totally fine and rest of this will be just like that same only the is pen here i want to do and to change it i want to use our custom class as a i simply copy that a and then here i want to do and to paste it perfect so that is our first one and else else another one as a one of the li li here i want to use the same class i copy it now i want to paste it and then a head if and for the a there is also another class you can see there is another class as a page link i copy it so now that will be as a page link i simply updated that class and then reviews and they have some of the icon icon should be updated i only want to do and to use that icon okay you can see there is icon as a arrow left so arrow left means that is actually our arrow left okay here that will be display so i copy it and here i want to do and to update it perfect so right now our first pass it successfully completed okay right now that means our array here we don't need this i make it as a comment out great and after that that is our first part and now if you go to our default one now you can see there is our another one for the active now i want to copy our total for each i copy that part and then that will be our next part okay so now there is also some of the comments you can see the designation element so now i copy it now in our custom and after the diff condition i want to do i want to paste it okay i simply paste it now also we have to do we have to update the class so now there is our another part another part you here that will be as a element element there is a doc separated li that will be just like that same here we don't need to change anything okay here we don't need to change anything and then that is our another part 
another part if and that is active class right so into this active area here you can see now we have to execute our active class and by default there is a one so now i want to do to update it because when that will be the active class you can see that is actually will be as a selected right so now i want to do to update it so that will be the page item and active hit by default that have only active now i want to do to use it as a page item because I, I, here we have to update our class name right so now i simply updated that class which is totally fine and then there is our spin so i want to do to update that spin i want to use our a herif okay i simply copy it there is a, a link so here after that i want to do to paste it okay i simply paste it because here we have to update and that and in position that will be our pages i simply cut that pages and here i want to paste it perfect and url here i want to do want to use that url okay i simply updated that url great so right now we don't need this in span so now that should be great i simply make it as a perfect now there is also another one as a herif into the a herif they have one of the class as a page link i copy it now that will be one of the class name as a page link and into this page link area that will be our url and then page perfect so now that should be great that will be our active one our active one should be updated i hope it's very much clear to you and now that is our next part next part will be our next part will be this one okay i want to do to take it so i copy that if condition after that for each in our custom after that for each i paste it so our next part will be which one here i have already done that job okay i have already done that job that is our last one as a um, far far long ar arrow right a long arrow right so first of all that is our li here we have to do we have to update it so now first of all that is our class name we have to update the class name i copy it so now that will be your class name as a page item which is totally fine and then here in our a class you can see we have to update, update that a class i copy it now that will be um, here that is actually in particular but that position so now that is all be our a hey. okay a class i updated here if will be the same everything will be same only icon will be display right i want to done to display on the icon so that is our icon i copy it now that should be display only the icon great and else else will be same that is a, a class disable which is totally fine designation only here we have to update here we, i want to update our a class okay i copy that a class total a class i copy it and now in particular that position i paste it okay so friend that's all you have to do that's all you have to do now that should be work now i want to then to remove it only our ul and nav so that is our ul nav and ul is started and php um, that is our end if condition is ended mm, perfect now let's check this out click as a save all right now that should be another page because there is a four data now that should be another one now click as, let's check this out click as a refresh yes you can see it's perfect <laughs> here is now successfully loaded our three posts and now there is another post in our page two you can see there is our a is active from here you can also go to that page two page rather than you can also from here go to the next page and you can see it's not working so that is totally disabled so that is our default exec everything is executed only i have updated our class okay now if you go to that our second page now that should be redacted to our second page and into the second page area that should be one block you can see it's perfect so now that is a one block and also right now we are into the second page and you can see our two is now become active right so our two is become active and now from here you can go to that our first page rather than you can also go to the first page by this icon now if you click it on here now that will be redacted to our one page and into this one page area now that should be display our three post okay how can add some of the custom designation friend i hope it's very much clear to you so that is a pretty much simple process you have to do i get all the default data from our default plate and simply updated all that class now that is executed okay how much easy it is i hope you like it very much so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video